Guys, Caleb here, back with another video. And today, talking about little Uzi yeah, Bird yeah. and what is going on with his Instagram right now. But anyway, uh, if you guys want to get on on a giveaway, you want to subscribe to the channel, and we're gonna start at 100 subs. So I'll be giving out a giveaway. And in order to uh, get on the giveaway, you're gonna follow the directions on the screen right now. And then, um, yeah, after you do that, I will know who actually did it because you comment done, and I also get notifications from new subscribers. Also, as you can see, there'll be more giveaways going on whenever we get to uh, uh, 500 and also a thousand subscribers. Now, let's get into this. Um, recently, or just today, about the time I'm recording this video, Uzi has about three songs out as of today. One being with G Herbo called Who Run It Remix, and also, also he dropped a song called uh, Rich Forever, and also a song called Bands. Even though he didn't actually drop Bands, so I've already told you guys that Uzi is coming out with something new. Um, I told you in my last video about Uzi that he was dropping some new and he's also going back to his old flow. And he is. And you can tell that in his uh, new song, Rich Forever. Now, here's the thing. I like to follow uh, people on Instagram whenever I can get snippets. Whenever like, Trippy Red is dropping snippets, rough and right. Every now and then Uzi will drop a snippet. You know what I'm saying? So I like to check up on them and see what they're doing every now and then. Uh, actively, Uzi has not been active on Twitter as lately, and um, he has been somewhat on Instagram, but people believe it's not him. People believe that somebody had this phone, or they have his phone, which I don't believe either to be true. Because if you look at some of the stuff he's saying, it's kind of funny. It is kind of funny, but at the same time, it sounds like something Uzi would be saying. Like, if he was another person, he'd be saying this stuff. I also feel like if Uzi was really hacked, he would have gotten on Twitter and said something like, hey, I've been hacked, so don't be paying attention to my Instagram if I've been hacked and all that stuff. If he, if he, if Uzi was really hacked, do you think it would be lasting this long? You know, how much money does Uzi have? You know how fastly he can get this done with? He can get a hacker or somebody to get back to his account, change the password and all that stuff, get this guy away from him, you know what I'm saying? So, this is, this is obviously Uzi. And I'll read you a quote from the, a post he put up lately. So you see this on screen and I'm gonna read it to you. Been looking through Uzi messages. I feel bad for the kid. He has had so many platinum plaques and charted songs, but for some reason he is still broke. I've been going through his messages and he has some good songs in this thing. It's a shame that his bosses won't let him put any content out. Honestly, I care nothing about the guy, but I hate when people get taken advantage of. I typed in SoundCloud and Uzi messages and every password came up. Thank me later, Uzi. I'm leaking songs for you fans. Now, if somebody were to hack his account, do you think they would actually care that this whole thing is going on about him and his DJ and it's like signed to a DJ and it's come with the fake stuff? Do you think they would care about that? No, they would not care. They would actually do more harm than good. And I like how he's doing it in a way that like he can't tweet or nothing he's not tweeting or anything so that's the only way that he's getting out of actually trying to release music because you know how his managers are and we've talked about this in the past about how they won't let him release stuff this is why love is rage 2 took so long to come out it wasn't uzi trying to decide oh i'm gonna take this on for it to come out no his record label stopped that from coming out they were the reason it hadn't come out to august that's their fault they're the reason for that happening. We've seen Uzi complain on Twitter about the days on SoundCloud when he can release anything and now that he can't release anything, he misses SoundCloud. This is him getting back into SoundCloud. So this is a way for him back to get into SoundCloud because he normally doesn't even post anything on SoundCloud. Also, I think of like this whole thing is kind of a gimmick thing, you know? So whenever um, Love is Rage 2 come out, yet all these people kind of going after him about like, oh, you're a Satanist and all that stuff. And I, I even made a video on this, if you guys want to look at it, uh, I'll probably leave it in the links below. But anyway, yeah, he, people were calling him a, a Satanist because he wore an upside down cross and everything else. But he's really, it was really a gimmick to sell his new album that had nothing to do with being a Satanist or anything. His song, 444 plus 222, had nothing to do with being a Satanist at all. So it's really a gimmick, you know, 
So this is the gimmick to get some new music out. I don't know how much music we're gonna get out, but we're gonna get some new music out of this. He already has three new songs out. Um, expect more to come. Surprisingly enough, we actually got a diss from Uzi at Rich the Kid and the G Herbo song. We run it remix, which I was surprised about because like usually Uzi doesn't respond to anything because he doesn't want to give these guys clout. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to give them clout. Even Kodak Black, whenever Kodak Black dissed him, Uzi didn't say anything about Kodak Black. He never even said anything. All he said was he wouldn't be mad about it because he has money now. But did he not diss him because Kodak didn't drop a diss track? I don't know. But maybe, possibly, if Kodak dropped a diss track on Uzi, maybe Uzi would respond. I have no idea. Interesting to think about. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is Uzi has money, you know what I'm saying? Money Longer is not just the lyrics to the song, it's not just a title of a song, but it's actuality, you know what I'm saying? Because Uzi can get away with this just because he has money. He has people to do this for him. So if he wants to leak songs out like this in this order, I'm perfectly fine with that. I just know that he's behind it. It's not just it's not just somebody hacking his phone. It would have made sense. Uzi has enough money to stop that from happening. I just want to tell you guys about that. But that's all for now, guys. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you want to be on that giveaway, make sure you follow those steps down below. And I'll see you guys later.